Uh, one of the, the, the writers who's been here in residence for two weeks from Wales, uh, and who I hope was part of that inspiration, is Anthony. So will you come and read for us now, please, Anthony? I'm sorry I got to do this. Oh, maybe not. Um, before I, 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 I read, I, I would just like to say, um, and I might cry, uh, it's been a fantastic time uh, being with you all in Tranas for the last two weeks. Um, I hope I've made some lifelong friends. Um, we've engaged uh, on all sorts of levels with the people of Tranas. You're a lovely bunch of people. Give yourselves a clap, please. I'd also like to thank um, the, the lovely journalists who have been putting us in the paper every day. I think every photo that I've had in um, Tranos Tinding has had um, this shirt in it. I, I, honestly, I do wash it, and I do wash myself. Okay, I, I'm going to read you two poems. Um, one is quite an old poem of mine, but hey, hey, only Dominic's heard it. So it's a great new audience. And um, also, then I'll read one I wrote about being here. Uh, this is about a dog. Um, do you know what a greyhound is? In... Yeah, okay. He's a dog. Uh, and he's a greyhound. It's called the Quincy Question. That's his name. From my dog there hangs a question mark. Upside down like the ones they have in Spain. It poses me oblique questions as it lashes like a bullwhip. And his, uh, and his sad eyes implore me, what? Tail tucked away, he's sleeping now, his half-closed eyes moving rapidly, and his limbs twitch involuntarily. I wonder if, like me, he dreams of sex and blood and death, of being hunter or hunted, or falling from great heights. In the morning, he wakes me from my dreams, of sex and blood and death. His front claws sharp and stabbing like a Spartan spear shocking me from my slumber. His blood is full and so is mine. Am I the alpha male in this house? I must defer to him. Here's, I might cry here as well. Uh, this is um, on, on the first proper day we were here, we had a trip out to Torpen Island. We had a lovely time, it was beautiful. And we saw the, the ships playing, and they were great, and we all had a good old time. Torpen Island. 10.30 in the never ending daytime where the sun rages hard against the dying of the light and winds. It's cooler now on this island, one of hundreds on Lake Soman. We drape ourselves in blankets from green boxes, the kind of ones we have as home in Britain, but yellow and full of grit for ice in the winter. And winter comes on strongly here, this great, great expanse of water freezes over. The pleasure cruise is locked like statues in their mooring places, and people skate across the natural rink. A band plays rock standard well. It's you guys. In a room on a stage reclaimed from the river, incorporating the relic of a lakeside barge which once delivered fool, food and coal and bricks. Every generation is represented. A grandmother dances with a tiny toddler. Teenagers group together and chat, flirting unselfconsciously. I smell the blue sweetness of the candy floss, the familiar fairground aroma of hot dogs smeared in sauce and mustard. There is a clink of bottles, glasses, shkur. Cheers, Yechidan. Drinks flow freely on this island, 
everybody smiling, laughing, couples kissing, determined to strain the last drop of sunshine as winter nights are long. And then it hits me, like a shot from an AK-47, the killing spree on Utoya Island off the coast of Norway, Anders Bering Breivik, 2011. For me, in Wales, I saw it and read about it, but it was a routine atrocity. Dunblane, Hungerford, Columbine, Utoya, this twisted neo-Nazi posing as a policeman on this island, a summer camp for teenagers, hunting down and killing as many as he could, and there were 64. Some ran screaming into the woods, cut down by automatic fire. Others cowered silently, trying not to breathe, conscious of their heavy, pounding heartbeat. Could he hear it too? Others tried to swim for safety to the shore, easy picking, shooting fish in a barrel. I get it now. I understand why Scandinavian sensibility was splintered and outraged at this massacre. My eyes melt like Swedish snow in springtime. This does not happen here. How could it happen here? Thank you.